Hello and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about how to install Google Tag Manager on a WordPress website. But before we get started as always these little videos are brought to you by my Udemy course on Google Tag Manager where you learn everything about Google Tag Manager will give you a really good foundational understanding of Google Tag Manager. If you want to check that out head over to gdmtraining.com slash YouTube. Now let's talk about how to install Google Tag Manager on WordPress. A few things here to consider are that we want to install our Google Tag Manager code beneath the opening body tag within our HTML markup. And we can do this through either a plugin or a manual installation. And we'll go through both of them in a second. And the last thing to consider when we are talking about installing Google Tag Manager completely on a WordPress website is obviously also the right data layer integration. And we'll go through how to install a data layer on a WordPress website. So let's get started with our live demo. So the first thing you'll see once you have signed up to Google Tag Manager under tagmanager.google.com is our Google Tag Manager snippet. And we can simply copy this snippet and and head over to our WordPress website. Now this is a WordPress installation of WooCommerce and right now as we can see in the tag assistant we don't have any tags installed. So this is a clean installation and we can head over to our backend which is demoshop.com slash WP admin and once you are in the admin section you can install Google Tag Manager and what I want to show you right now is the manual installation which works by editing directly the theme and we can go and edit the theme under appearances and editor. Now sometimes these template files are not editable so you don't have this update file button which goes back to the rights that your WordPress installation has on your server. If that is not possible you need to do it through a FTP client and download these files and then upload them to your theme folder. But if this is available you it's pretty easy to change. We just need to look for the header PHP which most of the themes have and then we can go through the header PHP and can find the opening body tag which is right here and what we'll do then is just paste our code in the middle of this. So now we have our Google Tag Manager code in here and all we need to do is update the file, head over back to our live site, we can reload this. And we already see here that we have now Google Tag Manager installed and through that there's one tag deployed which is Google Analytics. We can also check that in our source code by going right click on the page and view page source. And once we go down and look for the opening body tag which is here, we see that our Google Tag Manager code is installed correctly beneath the opening body tag. Now let's reverse this for a second. Let's get rid of this Google Tag Manager code. And reverse this back and go through a plugin installation. And if you want to install a plugin, you just go to plugins here and add new. And then you can search for plugins, we'll put in Google Tag Manager and we'll get a whole slew of plugins here which you can try out. The one that I would recommend is the one by Thomas Geiger, the Duracell Tomis Google Tag Manager plugin for WordPress. So let's install this. Now you have to activate this plugin. And you'll get a setting here, which is Google Tag Manager under the settings panel. And all you need to do in this settings panel is input the Google Tag Manager ID. 
and so we can go over to our Google Tag Manager account and we could copy it out here we would see it here and we can copy that and put it into our plugin now the important part here that I want to stress with a plugin is that WordPress by default doesn't have a hook for the Google Tag Manager code to be placed beneath the opening body tag. And that's why in this plugin there are two options here. Either you place it in the footer, which is not ideal because it will reduce the likelihood of your tracking codes to be fired if the user navigates further in the page with the without waiting till the page has fully loaded. Or you can do a custom integration, which basically gives you the capabilities of all these features here in this Google Tag Manager plugin. But you need to still copy this code here and integrate it beneath the opening body tag. So we'll go with the custom implementation because the footer implementation is not ideal. And is not recommended. So let's save these changes. I have copied this code so I can go back into the editor of the theme, go into the header PHP and install this little code beneath the opening body tag. Of course save this here and again reload our page and we see Google Tag Manager is already installed. Once we go into View Page Source, we now see our Google Tag Manager code here on beneath the opening body tag, which is again the right position. Now the cool thing about a plugin installation is that most of the times it comes with certain data layer integrations. So you can see that here that we have a basic data layer integration, for example, that helps us to put the post date into the data layer or the author's name and, for example, the post title. Let's save this and head back to our demo store, reload it. And here in our Tag Assistant under Google Tag Manager, we can see into the data layer and we see that this page title here is product and the other values weren't put into the data layer because we are not on an actual post page right now. Let's see when we go to a sample page. Here we have a test page and let's look into the data layer again. And here we see that the page title, the po post author, which is admin, and the post date. So we have everything ready in the data layer to take these data points and transfer them over to Google Tag Manager, which is really, really useful. And this plugin actually gives us a lot of more capabilities. We can also track events, so link clicks, downloads. We can implement scroll tracking. We can build our black or white list within Google Tag Manager. So only certain tags will, will be executed through Google Tag Manager. And we have special integrations such as, such as Contact Form or like on this store WooCommerce. So we can install the classic e-commerce tracking or the enhanced e-commerce tracking through this plugin, which is really, really useful because you don't have to implement the data layer yourself. And that's already it with this week's video of gtmtraining.com. If you have any questions, please post them beneath in the comment section. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. And that way you'll also stay up to date on newer videos that will come out soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Julian. Till next time. Now let's dive into our today's topic, which is custom HTML tags. And once we log into our Google Tag Manager account, we can see the tag option of custom HTML tags once we open up a new tag down here in the 
section under choose your tags. Now important to know is that these here are all, so we will use the all pages trigger to trigger our Google AdWords remarketing tag. Let's take a look at a live example. So here we are in our demo store and all we need to do to deploy it, we need to have Google Tag Manager installed. Then we can head over to our Google Tag Manager account. We click on new tag. We want to deploy a Google AdWords.